Hello everyone and welcome into Anno 1800. In this video we're going to quickly go over the 10x10 block layout that I am using in my city of St. John's Bay here, which is part of my current Anno series on my channel. There was a discussion in the Annoverse Discord the other day about housing layouts, and most people obviously linked the different pages from the wiki that they like for the diamond layouts and so on. Those are very space efficient. They utilize every tile within the layout for housing and public buildings to have 100% coverage with everything maximized, and it's perfect. However, to me, it looks very unnatural. Uh, you'll have rows and rows of 2x3 houses right next to each other, or long 2x20 of housing, and it just does not look good to me. I really appreciate the aesthetics of this game and how well this game can look. So, with the 10x10, it is a very simple system. You lay out three houses, you leave a space, you go two more houses, you leave a space, you wrap it in a in a road like so one two leave a space three one leave a space leave a space there you wrap it in a road there's your block that's it it is a modular block you repeat this pattern over and over and over again however many times you can fit into a city within that 10 by 10 block you can do whatever your imagination can come up with you can put in a bakery you can put in a fur dealer. You can put in a hospital. You can fit in a school within the 10 by 10. This is my 10 by 10. There's a school in here. I've got a 10 by 10 right, uh, right there with the university. Uh, that 10 by 10 is right here. University stuck in. There's what? There's a 10 by 10 right here with my police station and another one here with a fire station. I have one up top with a church and some ornamentals in there to add to my city attractiveness. You can literally do anything within that 10 by 10. You can add in industry, you can add in your public service buildings, marketplaces, pubs, all of that fits within that 10 by 10 and you'll have amazing coverage. As you can see right here, I have one school in the middle of my city supplying pretty much my entire city. Now the peripheries here are getting a little low, but I haven't expanded to where I need a school over there yet. When I do, I'll probably put a school probably like right about in here. Because as you can tell, schools have a massive range on them, so you don't need many of them. Variety Theater here, same thing. Variety Theater has a large range, so I don't need I don't need many of them. I've noticed a lot of these grid layout systems have like four districts in each corner that have all of these public service buildings built right on top of each other, and it's massive overlap. And I just, I don't like that system. Um, if it works for you, good, go for it. I, you know, do what you want to do. However, I like this 10 by 10 and a lot of other people have been picking up on it and realizing how good it is. Uh, you can fit, it, it lets you fit into weird tight spots like this that the big layouts don't let you do. It lets you build a more organic and interesting looking city, especially from, you know, this view right here. It looks a little more interesting. It's a little more divided up. And you can go anywhere with it. You can use it for your industry, everything. The 10 by 10 is a very simple system that I highly recommend to anybody for their, especially their first run of Anno. Instead of trying to sit there and lay out a perfect massive grid and future plan for these this massive layout that you have to count the tiles and one tile off you screwed up the whole thing and it's just, it could be just it could be a disaster sometimes beginning anno players this is a very nice simple system to start with it gives you something modular that's easy to remember easy to lay out and continue on with it now what you're probably saying is what about railroads well, that's easy. Railroads can be fit into this system. Very simple. Say I wanted to start get a railroad going right through these uh, 10x10s right here. Well, all you have to do is just kind of play a bit of shuffling. Now, yes, you do have to do a little work to make it to make it happen, but you can get it to work. You just have to, you know, work on it. Just do a little bit of shuffling of your buildings. 
destroy a few things. And then you can pl place down your railroad right through the middle of town and you're done. There's your railroad. All it takes is, it's kind of like Jenga. Uh, not Jenga, what's the correct term I'm looking for? Tetris. Yeah, it's Anno Tetris. You place down a few things, you, you shuffle things around a little bit, and then you're done. You have a great layout, your railroad's in there, you can place a power plant, which you don't ever need too many power plants. An island this size might have four power plants, so you're not having to do a whole lot of changing around. And you really want your power plants in a row. Like at least two or three in a row on the same track. So you don't have to build too many train tracks. So it's not a lot of redesign just to get the train tracks in. And it looks, and you know, and it does not look bad at all. It would look very nice going through your city. So again, this is the 10 by 10 layout. I highly recommend it to new Anno players and veteran Anno players like if you're interested in trying something a little different from the massive bog standard row upon row of houses with no aesthetic appeal whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a, a little thumbs up and let me know what you think of the 10x10 or if you have a different layout that you prefer that might have some aesthetic appeal. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video. If you want to check out my Anno series where I'm building St. John's Bay here, check out my channel and look for the Anno 1800 Season 1 playlist. Until the next time, guys, take care.